Hello, my name is Carlsen. I'm product manager of Quick Surface. I'd like to show you how you can create reverse engineering model of these simple parts and how to transfer it to Inventor. I will just create quickly a 2D sketch, which is the main profile of the outer body. We'll hide the reference mesh for now and we'll reconstruct my profile. The easiest way you can do is to use the fit primitives options I have selected to fit the line and I can just brush on top to just define my lines of the body. Because the auto fillet is enabled, the software automatically will connect the lines for you. I'll just brush this and to complete my profile I will just create this. When I'm happy I can just press OK and then create my sketch. Now I need to enable again the mesh and we'll create an extruded surface and I can make this up to where I desire. Now I can enable the snapping so I can take the point from my reference mesh and I'll do the same for the bottom plane. Because this is um, a real part, it's not parallel to the bottom, but this is the design intent which I want to create. When I'm happy, I can press OK. I want to create a cutout now of the slot from inside and I can just get a quickly a profile here that defines my slot and create another sketch. In this case, what I can do is use our tool for automatic slot detection. Select the slot and brush only the area that defines my slot. The software automatically will create the slot for me. Again, I'm happy and will create my next extruded body. Now I don't need to snap this to the mesh, I need to make it as big as possible and press OK. When I'm happy with this, I can just select my main body and use the cut body operation will create my final object. So when my model is done, I can just save it and then using the inventor button, the QS Connect will connect to the existing inventor and will transfer the data directly into inventor into the parametric way. If you take a look, all the features are available in inventor and you can edit your model there. I will just bring a bit more complex path like this one. This is a more complex body which has a patterns, created the cylinders and all combining all the solid uh, modeling using the union operations or cutting. Again, I will just press to transfer everything to Inventor and the full object is reconstructed. To demonstrate this, for example, I can go and edit this pattern and instead of five instances, I can create eight of them. And when I press OK, I can fully modify my object. And the last object that I'd like to show you is a bit more complex. So you can get an idea that you can even transfer objects like this one. You can press transfer to inventor and you just wait for a couple of seconds until the software transfers all the feature tree directly into Autodesk Inventor. Thank you for watching.